Second intermission on Hockey Night in Canada. The Saturday headlines with Elliot Friedman. And Elliot, we're inside two weeks to the trade deadline, and you're going to run us through at least six of the teams mm -hmm. and what they may be up to. Just stuff that we're hearing and, and things that are going on out there. So we'll start off in Pittsburgh. After they lost to L.A. last week in the great Yager retirement ceremony night, I think things really started to intensify around the Penguins. And obviously the big name is Jake Gensel. Everybody really interested in him. I think the, some of the teams have expressed interest include the likes of Vegas, Vancouver, Edmonton, Carolina, Florida, and I have no doubt that there are more. But I believe this has also gone beyond Gensel. I believe there's other players in the Pittsburgh organization that have begun to get attention. Obviously, none of the big guys are not doing that. But one position I do think that people have started to ask about and the Penguins will consider is goal. They've got Jari and Nedeljkovic at the NHL level. They've got a really good prospect in Joel Blomqvist, who's having a good year in the American Hockey League. And a couple of teams have suggested to me that you might want to add to the list of goalies who could be moved, someone in Pittsburgh. You might go to the Edmonton graphic there, Brian, but before you do, uh, because uh, Steve Steos and uh, Dave Poulin are watching, uh, is Carlson going to Ottawa? Because there's been talk of that. And... <laughs> no, that's just me spitballing. Let's okay. not get too okay. crazy about that one uh, at this point in time. Edmonton, you know, they've they've talked a lot about targets bigger and smaller, but I think one of the things that the Oilers are doing is looking at some forward depth, not necessarily on the top line, but throughout their lineup. And I think they have some interest in two players from Anaheim, Adam Henrique and Sam Carrick. Now, I don't know if that's both or just one of the two, but both of those names are names that are being linked to the Oilers. In Philadelphia, Jeff Merrick is going to report in his notes tomorrow, and I'm stealing it tonight, that there are teams that have contacted the Flyers about both Nick Sealer and Sean Walker as a pair. They've been very good together this year. The Flyers are weighing whether or not to sign them or trade them, but I believe at least two teams, according to Jeff, have asked about acquiring them as a pair. The Maple Leafs, people are always wondering about the Maple Leafs, whether you like them or don't. The Toronto continues to go looking for a right-hand shot defenseman. That has been their look for most of the season, and that continues. Dallas, I had a few people say to me that people should be talking more about the Stars, that behind the the scenes they are quietly one of the more aggressive teams they definitely think they can win the Stanley Cup they are looking for defense and they are looking for depth and finally Vancouver and probably should mention Vancouver and Boston playing each other tonight but the Canucks uh, look like Jim Rutherford's been at this a long time they think they can win he there's a lot of things he could try to do but one of the things I think that has developed over the last couple of weeks in Vancouver is the amount of noise around Pedersen. And I think what that has led to is teams calling the Canucks and saying, what exactly is going on here and could he be available? Now, the Canucks do not want to comment on this. They feel the noise is already enough, but they are telling teams we are trying to sign him and that is our goal. Lastly, Elliot, Joseph Wool, close? Yes, uh, he played last night for the Toronto Marlies in Laval, and he was very good. 36 of 37 Wait, saves. And not only that, but Laval did not make his night very easy. For a player in his first game after a high ankle sprain, Laval made it tough on him. They knew everybody would be watching, and those players sure did their best to get noticed. And uh, he was very good. They didn't play him today. Um, but he's very close, and we'll see what Toronto does in goal. They've got a couple days to figure this out. They go with three. Do they go with two? But Wall is close.